What's up everyone, I'm Chris John from Review Marble. Welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I managed to create this image composite of the moon shining brightly in the sky while the lunar features are still visible using Photoshop. This image composite involves using two images. The first image is an overexposed full moon image where the moon only appears as a white blob in the sky. And the other is a properly exposed full moon image where all of the features of the lunar surface are visible. So let's get straight down to creating our image composite. So here we have our two images loaded into Adobe Photoshop. So um, this image here, an overexposed image of the moon, was taken at 2 seconds exposure ISO 100 and F6 aperture. I simply cropped the image to make it look this way. And this is a full moon image that I had captured through my telescope using my phone using the universal digiscopy smartphone adapter. So what we're gonna be doing is to put this full moon image into this overexposed moon image. Before we do that, we have to put these guides here. And then use this tool to select the moon. When you're about done with that, click the move tool and then move it to this tab here. And then drag and drop it. It's a bit too big, so to resize the moon, you have to hit Ctrl T to resize it, and then hold down Shift while resizing. Put it right about there. And to resize it again, to so make it fit the white blob. Then hit enter when you're done. So the next thing we're gonna have to do is to add a layer mask. You use the brush tool by hitting the letter B on your keyboard for a shortcut or click the tool here. So after that, we will have to brush the moon out at 18% hardness and 185 pixels in size. We'll have to adjust this continuously later on. But this is gonna take quite some time, so what you'll just be doing here is to carefully blend the moon with the white blob. like that will do. So I'll have to desaturate the moon a little bit. To isolate the edits of saturation just to this moon layer here, we hold down alt and then click in between the layers. And then all of our adjustments will be isolated to the moon here. Change the white balance. Adjust the vibrance and saturation again. Okay. 
after that, I'm also going to have to adjust the colors of the background. To do that, I'm going to have to use color balance. Something like that will do. And I'm also going to have to create a brightness and contrast adjustment as a final edit to the moon. Make it a little bit brighter. Let's see what this will look like with higher contrast. Right about there will do. So after that, we are now ready to flatten our image. And here's your final moon composite. Simple as that. If you like this video and like tutorials like this, don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe button so that you won't miss any future videos. And as always, clear skies.